give it a good bash. And we are trying to break through the ice so that we can then catch the fish that's upside down in the net and put it in this bucket here, which is pond water, we just take it out. And then the plan is to bring it into the house and see if it'll warm up a bit. Okay. So we're gonna go fishing again. corner. I don't know if it's alive. It doesn't look, it doesn't look alive, doesn't look alive anymore now. He was moving earlier. But was that just the pump? I don't know. Yeah, it could be the pump was making him look like he was alive. Right, am I under him? Uh, hold on. Yeah. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. Oh, my God, he's alive. Okay, right. Wow, that is one of our original ones. So that one, we've had since it was three inches. So right, it's he's alive. every winter out in that other pond. So it should be useful. I've got something to say. It's definitely alive. He's just conserving his energy. Do you know? Yeah. I don't know. He looks dead. Well, something, he it's something to do with the bladder that they uh, get frozen in their blood or something and then they go upside down and lose their bones. Oh. So I don't know. Right, well, we are going to take him inside now and hopefully he might warm up and start swimming the right way up. I'll get back to you. Hi. On the workshop in the kitchen. We'll see if she will revive or not. Right, so the temperature on there is now 4.7, I think it says. 4.7? I don't know. I don't think you can see. Anyway, it says 4.7. She is moving around a lot. She is nearly getting the right way. Oh my God, look, she's the right way. She is looking so much better. Um, of course, we can't put her back out now because uh, she's in the kitchen. Um, so I don't quite know what we're going to do. We have to wait for the heater to come for the outside pond so that um, we can put her back out. But she is looking so much healthier and she was the only one upside down. So... Uh, that's a relief. She's still struggling to keep the right way up, but she's doing marvellously. And um, I'll take you outside and uh, show you the other fish. Right, so this is now two o'clock in the afternoon on the 16th, um, after the, uh, the afternoon of finding um, the pond all frozen over and that koi upside down. And what we've done is my middle son has come over and he's taken all the ice out. And you can see how thick that ice is. And he's thrown it onto the garden. You can see all here and all over here. And of course that's gonna make it warm up a lot better. So um, the fish are looking so much healthier. And so much happier. Um, I put you through here. They are swimming around. A lot happier. We've also got, it's just an aquarium heater, but they all seem to be hanging around underneath it, so they must be feeling something off of it. And um, that was from a local shop my son picked up on the way here <coughs> and um, it, it's just temporary until our big heater arrives and then um, what we might do is we might um, move that little heater 
over to the other pond over there, which I haven't even looked at, which is completely frozen over apart from the waterfall. So I don't know how the fish are in there. But um, the main pond, they're looking a lot happier now. We've taken the ice off and um, they've got this little heater. So, uh, yeah, so they are swimming around now and they appear to be a little bit happier, which is good. So thank you, Dave, for coming to the rescue and uh, moving all his ice, all this ice. His poor hands were frozen, lifting them out. And I'll just take you over to the other pond and um, lift this up. And then you can see just a bit of water in the middle, but I don't know what's happening with the fish. So I think I'll have to break the ice off that and do the same as what um, my son did with the big one. But uh, yeah, work in progress. Uh, thanks for watching. Right, so this is now reading 13 degrees and she's feeling much better. So you can see her there. She's feeling much better and she's swimming round. But, um, but yeah, like I say, it's reading 13 degrees now. So um, somehow we're going to have to meet in the middle with getting a back outside but I'm not sure what we're going to do there um, that's work in progress right I'll take you outside then so I say it's minus one at the moment and it went down to minus four last night we took all the blocks of ice off which I bet slippery when you have to be careful you can see the ice on the ground took out of the, uh, some of it's three inches deep uh, that we took off the pond um, to try and stop it from getting so cool. It's now 0.3 of a degree. Um, the fish are moving around in there. Can't see that well because obviously we've got this cover on it to stop it icing over again. Which has it? I don't know. It doesn't look like it has iced over this time. It doesn't seem to have got any warmer, but it doesn't seem to have iced over. So um, I'm going to undo the uh, plastic here. Just unhook it and see if I can get inside. Have a look. Yeah, so um right, you can see them swimming now. They all seem to be the right way up. That's good. They're not doing a lot because it's cold, but they are there and the right way up. They're sending to hover around that um, aquarium heater, which I don't know if it's doing anything, but it's on. So, uh, yeah. so, but it hasn't frozen under the top, so this blue thing is definitely working in that respect. And of course it doesn't cover the whole of the pond because uh, it's not big enough. So there's air, plenty of air for the gases, but even here it's only frozen a bit in the corners. There's some ice there um, in the corners, but um, it's uh, still bubbling away there, so it's not as bad as it was. So, uh, and it's meant to be warming up now, so hopefully uh, it can only get better. And the heater will hopefully will arrive today or Monday. And then we'll be able to get the um, the goldy coloured or um, not golden north, the golden koi back in.